Uh, yeah, so yeah, I finished last year with a GP2 race actually. Um, and uh, to be honest, that's what we were really looking forward to and uh, trying to work in, in the direction of GP2. Uh, unfortunately, we could not uh, find a budget for that. And um, we got a really good deal with, with a good team in GP3, Carlin. Uh, Trevor was a good help in that one. Uh, and since the first test we were really quick and uh, so yeah it was easy to, to, to make a decision on that one and we went forward with a, with a GP3 deal which uh, and I believe everything happens for a reason so today I'm, I'm really happy we, we did it. Yeah, uh, I mean first race of the year I was on pole so I had the first pole of the year uh, which was really motivating for everyone really. Carlin came from a hard season in, in GP3 the year before, um, so it was really motivating for everyone. Unfortunately, I screwed up on that one and I messed up the start. Uh, starting from pole, I had a small jump start. Uh, I was still leading the race until I had a drive through, so we lost 25 points on that one, uh, which, to be honest, really cost, cost us a championship looking back now where we lost it by 25 points. So, yeah, but we had a good, good end to the season with lots of wins fastest laps and we were one of the guys to, to watch out for by mid-season onwards. Well, no, I, I wouldn't say confidence boost because, uh, you know, I, as I said, I had the first pull of the season so the confidence was there from, from the first day. Uh, but maybe uh, I could stop worrying about second factors and, uh, and only worry about my driving. Uh, and I think that's a bit relaxing, even if you don't really feel it, it, it you relax on the inside. And uh, I, could, I could push a bit harder and, uh, and just go for it every time, which was good. Um, and, to, and on the other hand, it's a small dream coming through, joining the Red Bull program. Uh, we've seen how, how many drivers Red Bull brings into Formula 1. They have four seats in Formula 1, so it's uh, the chance of my career, which I'm trying to grab with my both hands. So I was doing well in GP3, it was after Monaco where we got a second place in Monaco and uh, obviously Trevor has a very good relationship with the Red Bull Junior team and Marco having won uh, lots of Red Bull drivers before and British F3 having won that three times and uh, obviously in World Series uh, with some Red Bull drivers like Vettel, Richard, over. Um, so yeah, Trevor was a good help in that and him and Dr. Marco speak very often about him. For that one, and so far I don't think I've been disappointing anyone really um, on the program, so I'm very happy. Well, and at first I thought it would be really hard to go from uh, World Series back to GP3, but to be honest, the World Series car this year was such a step forward, and without any testing or anything, it was quite hard to get started actually with the World Series by Renault. Uh, the car is very powerful, there's a lot of downforce, and which is a bit the, the lack on the GP3 car is, uh, is a downforce. Uh, so I had to get used on that one. Uh, but in the end, it all, all was good. I mean, I, it took me about two or three weekends in the World Series to get up to speed with the fastest guys. But we ended up the season winning four races, and I was the driver with the most wins on that one, uh, which was good. And also in GP3, I was uh, one of the drivers with three wins. Um, so yeah, I mean, seven wins in the in the season, combining two championships, I can win in both, uh, which is very confident for, for me and, and for everyone working around us. Uh, if you'd ask me which car and which track in one day, I'll say Formula 3 in Macau. So it's, it's really, if I, if I have a chance again the year after, the year after, and the year, I will always say yes to this. And uh, it came up with, uh, with Trevor again, once again, and uh, Volkswagen putting up a deal together for me, and uh, which I have to thank both of them, and obviously Red Bull for, for supporting me on this. Uh, so yeah, Macau is up with Carlin, great team, they finished second last year. Uh, great lineup of drivers, uh, so strong. So I think it's going to be it's going to be tough in, uh, racing my own teammates, but it will be very nice. Uh, we all get along well, so it will be, will be a fun weekend for sure. the Formula 3 a few days ago just to try and get back to it. It's one year now that I don't drive a Formula 3 car since Macau last year. 
uh, and a lot of times look good. I got, I look good in the car, felt confident. The car feels good. So, but you know, in Macau, you really have to wait until you get there and you drive the first laps around the track to see how you really feel with the car and with the track. But I'm very confident the team is, is doing a great job. I'm here in the factory now. Uh, everyone's working hard around the front of the car, so I'm very confident. Again, you know, I joined the Red Bull program maybe five months ago, six months ago, and now I'm announced as a, as a young driver, as a driver for the young driver test in Abu Dhabi, uh, which we've seen Jeff and Daniel Richard are doing it the past few years, and they are on the program for maybe five years. You know, so it's again a great, great chance. I just need to thank them, and I hope I don't disappoint anyone and uh, be quick there as well and help the team to to make a little step forward for the last few races in the World Championship and for more.